Hi, and welcome to my performance review of the Pangolin laptop from System76. First off, this laptop is designed to run Linux. System76 makes their own Linux distribution, which is Pop! OS. And then they have Cosmic that is out by now, I think, or coming out. What does this mean? Well, simply, when you buy one of their laptops, you know that it's built to run Linux on it. Besides that, you also get to support a Linux-friendly uh, manufacturer. Now let's get into the performance of this laptop. I'm not really here to talk about all the ports, although it does have three USB-A ports, one USB-C, one SD port. It has a Ethernet port. It uses a barrel charger, which honestly, I don't have any problems with that. Although I do like the USB-C charging experience, it has an HDMI port, a headphone jack, and a hardware switch to toggle on and off the connectivity of the webcam. In terms of ventilation, this has great ventilation. It has very sturdy, sticky, rubbery feet. So when you place it on the surface, it actually sticks where you put it, like a lot. Uh, next on the inside, well, we have a very comfortable keyboard. Honestly, typing on this, I had to write a few scripts on this, felt so comfortable. It was like typing on soft yet firm cushions, if that makes sense. Uh, the trackpad, not my favorite. It has the uh it has the left and right and middle click and the middle click feels like you're clicking two buttons at a time i personally just use tapping or if i click i leave it to um the amount of fingers you use to click uh, so the trackpad not the biggest thing i use the trackpad i don't use a mouse really and if i'm drawing or use a graphics tablet but other than that the trackpad actually works like it wasn't a horrible experience just a personal little thing with clicking when it comes to the display, it has a beautiful 1080p 16x9 matte finish display. The colors are very vibrant. The brightness goes up to a decent amount or satisfying amount. The speakers sound good. I believe th these are the speakers down here, but yet they still sound good. Now, when it comes to hardware, it's rocking AMD Ryzen 7 7840U. It has 8 cores and 16 threads and goes up to 5.10 gigahertz. It comes with a default 32 gigs of RAM soldered to the board, if I'm not mistaken. And 32 gigs of RAM does feel like a solid amount of RAM to have soldered to the board. We have the power brick, which is a 90 watts power brick. And well, it's not that big, honestly. Uh, it is bigger than, than my current laptop power brick, but not much to say about the power brick. It's a standard one and charges your laptop. If you have a USB-C charger that delivers 90 watts, then you can just use that instead. Now, in terms of performance, I have edited some of the videos that you've seen on the channel using the Pingolin. And sometimes it's not even about editing on the Pingolin. It's after I carry my laptop around, I do all my edits, then it's time to render and my projects end up sometimes being a little heavy. What I'll do is put all of my files onto a hard drive, pass it on to the System76, and then I can finish editing and rendering in a breeze. This thing is highly performant in terms of CPU power. Now, if you need a laptop with GPU power, System76 also has you covered. They have the powerful graphic laptops. So that is aside from their ultra portable, the Pingolin is one of their ultra portable laptops. And honestly, it fits the name. This is very slim. It's not really that heavy. It's actually lighter than the MacBook Pro 15 inch that I had. Now, when it comes to putting this in your backpack, you will need one that does support like 16 inch laptops because this is their 16 inch series. They do have 14 inch laptops available. I myself prefer a 14 inch laptop, which is why I'm going for the Lemur Pro. Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by System76. I reached out to them and then after a back and forth, they agreed to send me this laptop for a review. I really wanted to get my hands on one of their laptops and see just how it feels to have a laptop that is built to run Linux. And honestly, it feels amazing knowing that everything just works out of the box. Um, it's been a very, very pleasant experience. Uh, performance wise this thing is very performant now of course you don't have a dedicated graphics card which means that you might not be able to run something like davinci resolve and you have some trouble with anything that is gpu dependent so outside of the gpu necessities this thing runs amazingly it has all the ports that one could need i think so so usb a hdmi usb c headphone jack you have the micro sd cord and the ethernet you also have the kensington lock if ever you need that for something it's easy to open so that you can go ahead and do any tweaks on the inside you have a little patch in the back which if i'm not mistaken is so that you can add additional storage um, other than that well if i were to mention any cons 
They do mention that you get 10 hours of battery life out of it. I have not gotten more than up to five hours, but then again, I haven't used it a uh, very nonchalant as in not doing much on it. On the Pop! OS operating system, they have different uh, power management settings. So you could set it to power, so energy saver, balance, or performance. I usually just use balance. So it could just boil down to how I've been using the laptop. Honestly, I've never really just browse the internet or done some typing. I usually have some streaming happening. Maybe I'm typing at the same time. I have GIMP open working on a thumbnail, Kid in Live in the background or something, or running Audacity. So I haven't really gone easy on this machine. So five hours is what I've gotten out of it. When I say five hours, I usually stop at the 20% mark. Once a laptop reaches 20%, I'll stop using it, put it to charge, or if I really have to finish something is when I'll continue using it. With that said, that means the, the five hours is down to the 20% mark. If you're interested, I encourage you to visit their website. They have a lot more information and they have the Ultra Portable, which includes the Pingolin and the powerful graphics laptop, which have dedicated graphics card for those of you that need dedicated graphics card. They also have desktops. If you're interested in having something more stationary, they have high towers, the tiny little boxes, similar to the uh, Mac minis, if you will. They also have some nice custom keyboards. They have backpacks. And before I forget, when you get one of these System76 laptops, they also send you a couple stickers with them and a nice little note. So the packaging is pretty interesting when it comes to the unboxing experience. The laptops feel very secure inside of the box, the way that they're set up. And it's just an overall nice experience, to be honest. So in conclusion, if you're looking to get a laptop that runs Linux, you can also install Windows on it. But if you're looking to get a laptop that runs Linux out of the box, so I would recommend System76 as one of your options to look through. I myself, after I ship back the Pingolin to System76, I'll be getting a lemur for myself, the lemur pro, which is 14 inch, which is more in my range of comfort when it comes to laptops for portability and whatnot. Well, that was it. I'll put a link to the website down in the description. There's no affiliate link. This is not a sponsored review or anything. Uh, this is my honest opinion. I haven't ran into anything that I don't like so much. So besides maybe the app store inside of pop OS, but that's again, a personal preference thing. Uh, their operating system works very nice. It's a GNOME like system. You could say I personally run Linux mid, but the OS did not get in the way of my work. Matter of fact, it kind of convenience me a bit with some of the features that they have there in the performance modes. So from battery saver, balance and performance. Well, that is it for my review of the system 76 pink and laptop. If you're interested, link in the description, go check them out. Uh, great laptop and 